Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is Motivational Monday with Jackie. Oh, I am your host, Jackie. So I am so excited to be here. Um, I'm flying solo tonight. Our topic of discussion that we have for tonight, um, our special guest was not going to be able to be with us tonight. So we're going to reschedule it. So you got me, guys. Yep, you got me, Jackie. So again, I am so happy to be here. And we're going to be talking about a topic that is very relevant, very good, something that we need to keep in front of us at all times. So I'm so excited about that. But I wanted to give a shout out because we have been supporting our black owned businesses, um, our women owned businesses. And so before I get started and I forget, Say their names. I really like this shirt. Let me turn around so you can see the back. Can you see the back? So shout out to Roz in Fort Worth for this shirt. I'm going to be putting her information um, in the comment section. So when we post, so you can uh, check her out. And then another is this book. I cannot wait to start reading it tonight. It's called Real Talk When There's Nowhere to go but up. Black pain. It just looks like we're not hurting. Like, wow, this is going to be good. And the author is Terry Williams. She is a licensed clinical social worker, founder of the Terry Williams Agency. She has served as public relation advisor to clients such as Eddie Murphy, Janet Jackson, the NBA, and many corporations. So I cannot wait to read this. So this is another um, black owned business author. So yes, let's support um, these ladies. And we have some other things that we've ordered, so I can't wait for them to come in and I'll be sharing them with you and sharing all the information. But again, welcome to Motivational Monday with Jackie O. I am your host, Jackie O, and we have something great in store for you. So before we get started, I wanted to read you our daily affirmation. This is something that we read daily, and I wanted to read it to you because the topic that we're going to be talking about tonight is a part of our daily affirmation, okay? So I'm going to read it, and I'm going to read it with a lot of attitude, okay? But it's good attitude, all right? So here we go. I am worthy. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. There is no one like me. I will not think on things that do not benefit me. I will not allow stinking thinking to overtake me. I will forgive others so that I can heal. Let me say that again because I got a little tie tongue. I will forgive others so that I can heal. My past does not define me. I am strong and beautiful, period, period. So this is our daily affirmation that we say every day. And for those of you that order products from us, you always receive our daily affirmation in your packaging. And so today we're going to be talking about the power of forgiveness. That's on our affirmation where it says, I will forgive others so that I can heal. Forgiveness is not all about the other person, as we know. Forgiveness is really for us. Forgiveness is an action. It is something that you do. It is a choice that you make to forgive. We know that some of us have been harmed and wronged like really hard, really bad. And so we have to choose to forgive. And why is forgiveness so important? We're gonna talk about that today, the power of forgiveness. When we practice forgiveness, this is what happens. We embrace empathy, happiness, joy, gratitude, peace, all of those great, wonderful attributes when we embrace forgiveness. When we don't, you already know, none of those things is happening in our life when we do not forgive. Forgiveness means letting go of resentment, letting it go. We're going to talk about all of this, guys. I know y'all probably like, girl, you just don't know. Yeah, I do, because I've been right where you are, and I know. So we're going to talk about that. When we forgive, let me tell you a good thing about it. 
is it leads to feelings of understanding, compassion, and love for the other person who hurt you. You're like, how can that happen? How can I have compassion? How can I love somebody that hurt me? It can be done. Because remember, forgiveness is an action. It is something that we are choosing to do. One thing I do want to say is that forgiveness does not mean that we forget. It does not mean that we excuse the harm that was done to us, but we are letting it go. So let's talk about some benefits of forgiving. Some benefits, because there are some benefits to forgiving. Ah, yes, I told you. Improved mental health is number one. Number two, we have less anxiety, stress, and hostility. We're not walking around looking like we're sucking on lemons and always angry all the time. Number three, our blood pressure is lower. Let me tell you, I have been in some times when there has been unforgiveness and my blood pressure was so high to where my head was throbbing like boom, 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 boom. And I promise you, I'm not telling no stories. My ears was like red. I mean, I was like really there. OK, but when we forgive, it lowers that blood pressure and we're not doing the most. Again, as my kids say, we have fewer dis um, symptoms of depression. We have a stronger immune system so we can take vitamins, exercise, drink water, all of these things. But if we have unforgiveness, our immune system is weakened. It is weakened. So when we forgive, we're boosting our immune system along with everything else that we're doing. We have improved heart health and we have improved self-esteem. We feel better about ourselves when we've forgiven. We don't have that burden. We're not carrying that, right? We're, we're doing good, guys. But we do know that when someone loves us, to what, I'm sorry, when someone who we have loved and we have trusted, when they betray us, when they hurt us, there's going to be not some unforgiving going on. And guess what's going to happen? There's going to be something that's called resentment that'll take place, that'll take residence. And we don't want anything to take residence in our heart that's not paying rent. Okay. I mean, just like <laughs> we don't. But when we don't forgive, then that resentment, it takes up residence and then it starts growing and it gets all these roots. Look, I have an example. Let me show you. So like and don't laugh because I do need to like repot this or redo something to this. But so you see this plant. This is a bamboo. And so at the bottom, you see the roots and you see how they're growing and how they're just like all meshed and all just have like something going on with them, right? That's what happens in our hearts when we have unforgiveness. And when it takes root, it has, it's just doing all of this intertwining. That's what it's doing. And if we're not careful, it will swallow us up. It will just overtake us. We will be so full of unforgiveness and resentment. It would overtake us. And it's kind of like a tree, Right. Because those roots are going to be really down and they're rooted in there. It's like a tree. So when you cut the tree down, you also have to pull up the roots. Now, I'm not I, I'm not a gardener or you know person that does stuff like that. But I do know that if a tree has been there for some time, for a period of time, it has some roots. And those roots, again, are going to be under the ground and they're going to be all intertwined and all of that. It's going to be looking like this. OK, so you can cut the tree down, but if you don't pull up the root, all that stuff is still down there. So with unforgiveness, again, we don't want resentment to set up shop in our hearts. So let's now talk about some effects of not forgiving. So we already talked about the benefits. So now we're going to talk about the effects of not forgiving. Here we go. It brings anger and bitterness into every relationship and new experience. Okay, that's just, that's it by itself. It brings anger and bitterness into every relationship and new experience. I have an example. 
When we go to the grocery store, certain grocery stores that we go to, we don't take our bags. I know y'all don't get on me, but we don't take our bags, right? So say if we go to HEB, we normally do not take our reusable bags. So we have all of these bags that we bring back from HEB and we store them in the pantry. Okay, we store them in the pantry. So in the pantry, whether I go to the store or the girls go to the store, there are always these bags that we are steady putting in with the bags that are already in there. That's probably been there for months, if not a year. No, not a year, because I do clean up my pantry. But, <laughs> but they've been there. So the point that I'm making is you still have these old bags and now you're coming with the new bags and you're stuffing them in there. Do you think that that's what happens when we have unforgiveness and we're going into new relationships? and new experiences like it's a new thing for them but we're the same person with the same unforgiving heart then number two is we can be so wrapped up in the wrong that we miss the present moment we miss it we're so busy with this unforgiveness and what was wrong to us and what happened to us that we miss the present moment and we don't want to miss the present moment. We don't want to still be back there when we should be up here, right? We become depressed and anxious. And then we feel that our life, it lacks purpose. And another thing that happens to us is that we can lose valuable connections with people. Why is that? Because we are so unforgiving. We are so full of resentment and bitterness that we cannot have a healthy relationship with anyone. And so when they see us coming, we're draining to them, right? Because we're so full of unforgiveness. So we don't want that to happen. We don't want that unforgiveness to run people away. So now you're saying, okay, so we found out the benefits of why we need to forgive because we're talking about the power of forgiveness. So we found out the benefits of it. We also talked about the effects of not forgiving. So now we're going to talk about how do I get to this forgiveness? So because you're like, Jackie, girl, you just don't know. So how do I get there? Well, let me tell you how to get there, because I do know I've been there, done that. So I know. So I'm going to tell you how to get there. The first thing is you need to recognize the value of forgiveness. Yes, forgiveness has value. I didn't realize that. I mean, you know, as we're growing up and even in adults, we always hear, oh, you need to forgive. You need to forgive. It's for you. It's for, And you hear that and you say it. But do we really believe it? Do we really believe the value that forgiveness has? No, we don't. So we need to recognize the value, the value of forgiveness. The second thing is we need to recognize our emotions. Yes, we're going to be angry. We're going to be upset. All of those things are going to happen. So we need to recognize that, recognize our emotions, how they are playing a part in this, okay? Because we're trying to get to forgiveness. Remember, that's the road. That's where we're going. Then we have to choose to forgive the person who harmed us. Remember, in the very beginning, we said that forgiveness is an action and we have to choose to do it, okay? So in order to get there, we have to choose to forgive that person. We can stay there in unforgiveness or we can forgive them. Here's another one. This is another good one. All of them are good, but here's another good one. I'm going to read this one so I'll make sure I don't mess it up. Move away from your role as the victim. You no longer define your life by how you have been hurt. I thought that was really, that was a really good one. And so then here we go to this next point. Girl, I just can't forgive. Do you know what he did to me? Do you know what she did to me? Do you know what they did to me? If you only knew, you wouldn't be one to forgive them either. Okay. Yeah. I've been there, done that too. I had those thoughts too. Until I realized, I'm going to jump back over there. The value of forgiveness. When I realized that, then I said, okay, here, I, I, I probably need to forgive. OK, but here are some points for those of you that say, I just can't forgive. I'm just stuck. OK, how do I get out of this? Here we go. Number one, 
practice empathy. See it from their perspective. This is a true story. Not long ago, I had um, an individual and myself. There has been some, I don't know, some things that were going on for a while, like years while. And just recently, we had a conversation. And in that conversation, I still was not understanding her or their perspective. And so because in my mind, I'm thinking I have done everything right. I'm doing it. I'm this. I'm that. You know, you know how we do. And, you know, I don't I've, I've done my part. I don't need to do anything else. And even after that conversation. I still did not see her perspective at that moment. And then I went back, looked, re, you know, listened to it, replayed the conversation in my mind again. Then I saw their perspective. And when I saw their perspective, I was like, oh, OK, now I get it. Then I got to think, well, what if they didn't see my perspective? OK, so what if they didn't see mine? I saw theirs. And that was the important thing. That was what was important, because I'm the one we're talking about forgiveness and we're talking about forgiveness is more for us. It is more for our healing It is more for our for us to thrive, for us to have peace and happiness and joy. That is what forgiveness really is. Now, if the other person, you know, they forgive us, that's great. But we are really forgiving so that we can heal. Remember our affirmation, our daily affirmation, which says, I will forgive up, forgive others so that I can heal, right? So this is why we are forgiving. And so then number two is ask yourself why they're behaving like this. What is the backstory? Why are they doing what they're doing? You know, is it because something in their past, in their childhood happened, and then you come along and, you know, what you're doing is really not what you think is big, but it magnifies something that happened to them. Got to think about that. Okay. Number three, number three is reflect on where you have hurt others. And when you wanted their forgiveness, I think that is a really good one because we have all done things against other people, whether we said something the wrong way, however we have, you know, we said it or did, we've all done things like, you know, for me, I pray daily. And my prayer is always, God, when I'm praying, please forgive me. Forgive me for things that I've said, that I've done knowingly or unknowingly, because sometimes we can do things that we are not aware of. So I'm constantly asking for forgiveness. And I want God to forgive me, right? So let's look at that. We want him to forgive us. So what if we call him up and we're talking to him, you know, like we talking to our friends. Hey, God, you know, I did this. Can you please forgive me? And what if he says to us, girl, Jackie, OK. He's looking at me like, mm hmm. OK, I'm going to think about forgiving you. Give me a couple of days and get back with me. I'm like, what? Oh, my goodness. You know. So then I call him back in a couple of days. Okay, Lord, can you have you decided? Are you going to forgive me? And he says, well, you remember in 1968? Oh, no, I was born in 1968, so I didn't do anything. And he might say, well, you remember 1972? Oh, I was still little. But, you know, he like goes down this line. You remember in 19, June 15th, 1999, you know, something like that. Remember, so he has this whole list. Remember, you did this, 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 and this. So I'm still thinking about if I'm going to forgive you. And I'm just like, oh, my God, no, he's not doing this. Now, let's bring it to here when you have to forgive someone. Right. You want them again to forgive you. So you need to forgive them because you want someone to extend mercy and grace and love and forgiveness to you. So you have to do the same to someone else. Okay, We're talking about things when you get stuck of why you don't want to forgive, that you need to think about these things, like think about them, like, okay, all right? And so then the next one is be aware that forgiveness is a process. Oh, I got a scripture for y'all on that. So know that it's a process and you might have to forgive a whole bunch of times. Y'all remember Peter? Peter went to the Lord and said, Lord, these people, I'm paraphrasing. He said, Lord, these people is doing the most. 
Like, how many times do I have to keep forgiving them? Like, that's what he said. He said, how many times do I have to give them? Like, seven times? And the Lord comes back, and this is what he says. Matthew 18, chapter 18, verses 21 through 22. It says, then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive them? Up to seven times? You know, he's like, I'm tired of forgiving these people. And Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. What do you think that means? That means that we need to keep on forgiving. This is not no one time, one stop shop. We got to keep on forgiving over and over. Because the Lord just told us that that's what we need to do. So this is what we need to remember when we just can't forgive. Okay. Then the reconciliation. Forgiveness does not always lead to reconciliation. Yeah, that's a that's a good one, right? Because sometimes it's impossible for the reconciliation to happen. It could be the person has passed away or it's just not an appropriate time or it's just not possible for you to reconcile with that person or with those people. Does that mean that you don't forgive? Absolutely not you still forgive. Forgiveness is still possible even when there's not reconciliation. Man says things is not possible, but the Lord turns around and says, with me, I am possible. So you can still forgive even when there's not reconciliation. Because again, remember from the beginning, it's forgiveness is for us and is for us to heal. Then the last thing is, Am I in need of forgiveness? Child, ask yourself that. I need to ask myself that. Girl, Jackie, are you in need of forgiveness? Yes! <laughs> yes! We are in need of forgiveness all the time. That's why I said previously, we have to ask the Lord to forgive us all the time. And we are in need of forgiveness. We want others to forgive us because as long as we live this life, we will make some mistakes to where we will wrong someone and we will need their forgiveness. So how does that happen? Well, we need to acknowledge that we did something wrong and that how what we did wrong affected them. There's a lot of things that happen that we could do wrong, but this is something and it's, it's really minor, but it's not minor. This just happened Saturday. So the lady who did our shirts, right? I got my shirt on Saturday for my sister. She sent it. She lives in Fort Worth. So she sent it by my sister because I saw my sister on Saturday. Well, we were doing a graduation party and it was just so many moving pieces. I forgot to send the money for my shirt with my sister. So today, and then I was still just caught up, you know, just busy doing stuff. So when she texted me and she said, oh, hey, did you get your shirt? And I was like, oh, my gosh. I said, I apologize. I apologize that I forgot I did get the shirt, but I forgot to send the money by my sister. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, well, that's really not a big deal. But it is a big deal because I did something and I needed to apologize for it, because even though the shirt is twenty five dollars, how did I know what she needed to do with that $25, like either that same day or the next day? And then I don't pay her until today. Right. So I acknowledge that I did something wrong. And hey, and how did it affect you? And she was like, oh, that's OK. But still, that was something that I needed to say, girl, I apologize. Please forgive me for not sending that money like I even promised to send on Saturday. So we have to acknowledge that. Okay. Then we have to forgive ourselves. We can be so hard on ourselves, you know, when we make mistakes and we, you know, wrong others or offend others, we can be so hard on ourselves, but we have to forgive ourselves. You know, don't beat yourself up. You did it. You know, you're going to ask for forgiveness and then you just have to move on, move on, let it go. Don't stay there. That's it. Don't stay there. And the other one, the third one is, Ask for forgiveness. People, we can't force people to forgive us. We can't. Either they can forgive us or they, or they won't forgive us. And if they don't, you know what you have to do? You still have to keep on showing them love. Treat them with respect. Love on them. 
Because you know what? The Bible tells us this too, that love covers. It covers. It covers the multitude of sin and it covers. So if you continue to love on that person, don't stop, then they'll see that and they'll be like, oh my God, you know, yeah. You you really, they were authentic and they meant it. But don't, oh, I'm just not going to do it because, you know, I told her that I was sorry and she just, you know how we do sometimes. So forgiveness, that was our segment for tonight, the power of forgiveness and how it is so powerful. It changes our lives. It takes us from one point to the next point. We heal from it. And we forgive so, again, we can heal. And we can have peace and joy and happiness, all of these great things. I hope you enjoyed our Motivational Monday with me, Jackie, your host. Um, and I wanted to say also, we have a couple of things that are coming up this week. Um, Thursday is our shopping experience, our ultimate shopping experience. And so we're really excited about that because that's live. It's on Facebook and we have live vendors that are going to be doing demonstrations. So it's really going to be good. Um, then Friday, we have our ultimate house party. If you have never attended our ultimate house party, the past two have been off the chain. This is our third one. This is going to be a special edition because it is uh, Juneteenth on Friday. So everybody is welcome. We have something really great planned for you guys on Friday. So go to our website, Jackie O J A C Q U I E O O H dot com to get your ticket. It's free, but when you register, you'll get your Zoom um, information, login information. And let's see what else. Oh, and just thank you to everyone that supports the Jackie O Project. Um, thank you for purchasing our products, our organic skincare products. They are awesome. Y'all see my scan. Mm -hmm. And um, we thank you for purchasing our products. And I want to say this. So when you purchase our products, it goes back into our community. So we call, if you're a customer, if you follow us, if you like anything that we do, you are part of our community. When you purchase, you're not just a customer, you're part of the community. So what we do is with the sales from our t-shirts and our skincare products, we give back into our community. Um, so one thing that we did most recently, well, a couple of things we did most recently was for Mother's Day, we uh, got some plants like sage and rosemary, mint, like different things, and we dropped them off randomly at people's homes. And then we texted them and said, the Jackie O elves have just arrived. Go to your front door. You know, that was so amazing. And then this next campaign that we have is um, e-tickets. I mean, e-gift cards. And so it's like to any restaurant, it can be delivered to you um, at your home. And so we're like randomly selecting mostly moms and giving them an e-gift card for them to have dinner on us. We think that's very important for us to do this and you know, really pour into the community that supports us. Um, and so I want you to know that we appreciate you. We are so grateful um, for those of you that do support us that are loyal customers because we have quite a few loyal customers that keep coming back because you know we got great customer service and our products are good too so um i just want to thank you guys for that and let's keep on supporting one another let's keep on loving one another and let's keep on forgiving one another so until next time i hope you all enjoy the rest of your evening and again I'm Jackie with Motivational Monday with Jackie O. Talk to you soon. Bye.